Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about how to recover deleted, lost or corrupted files in Windows 11 24H2. And in this video, we're going to talk about a solution from Isis, which is a free solution up to 2 gigabytes. You can easily recover files that have been lost due to deletion, corruption and so much more. So in this video, we're going to try to cover everything that there is to it to Isis Data Recovery. And of course, check out the official Isis Data Recovery page. And here you're going to have more info about how the software works. But of course, as you can see, it can recover up to 2 gigabytes of data for free on Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8 or Windows 7. So you can just get the free version and you can recover files from the recycle bin, SSDs, USBs and of course documents, pictures, videos and also corrupted files and so on. So I think the software covers a pretty wide array of files. Now this is how the software looks. As you can see it has a really really simple interface and of course in this video we're also going to do a demonstration related to the data recovery on the hardware disk but you can also have access to advanced recovery for example the SD card. You just need to connect your SD card and you should be good to go. Of course, NAS or Linux you can do this as well and crashed PC. If you have a boot failure, blue, black screen of death and also a repair loop, you can recover data from a unbeatable computer really easily. Now on my desktop, as you can see, I have three types of files. I have a photo, which is basically a screenshot. I have a text document, which just has the text tech based. I also have a video, which basically just shows the recording software that I use for a few seconds. And now we're going to permanently delete these files and see how Isis Data Recovery Wizard can help us recover these files or if they are recoverable at all. Now, of course, as I've said in previous videos that I've done about data recovery software, of course, you cannot expect files to be easily recovered. It depends on a lot of factors. For example, first of all, I think the most important thing is how much time has passed since you deleted or lost those files. Of course, the file types matter a lot because if it is a big video, for example, a video that has around one gigabyte, maybe a one hour video, of course, that video will be harder to recover. And if it's going to be recovered, it could be corrupted and uh, not fully recovered. And of course, certain file types are easier to recover. For example, I think text documents are the easiest file type to be recovered, all by photos and then videos. Now let's select these files. Now also let's change the names of these files to be able to locate them better because I'm sure that the software once we scan for lost files or deleted files will find also files that we've deleted before. So let's rename this. For example, tech 1, tech 2, and the video tech 3. And we have our files here. Now let's permanently delete them. Shift delete. And as you can see, I've permanently deleted those files. Now what do we have to do? We have to go into the hardware disk section. And here we have our internal drives, which are all the partitions. And also we can specify a location. In this case, we know that our files were deleted from the desktop. But if you don't know a location, of course, you can scan an entire partition or the recycle bin or a specific folder. In my case, I'm just going to scan desktop, select desktop, and then click on search for last data. As you can see instantly, the files that have been found are the files that have been deleted the last time. So I think that is great. But you're going to notice that the software will find a lot of files that were deleted throughout the time. For example, this could also include temporary files and so on. I think that is pretty nice. For now, I'm just going to pause the scan because as you can see, it found around 100,000 files and around 32 gigabytes of files that have been deleted before. So we don't want to recover all that. But we can also see that in the left side, we have certain categories. For example, we have reconstructed from the desktop, of course, where we scanned and we have path and also type. So we can search files for their file type, for example, videos, and we can search for a certain extension, for example, MOV. Now also you can change the way that the files appear. Of course, you can categorize them by name, size, type, date modified. You can also use filters, which you can use to filter by file type, date modified, file size, also advanced filter, which can hide the 1KB files, hide system files, hide temporary files, also hide browser cache. Basically, a lot of files will be hidden right now. And we can select also lost files only. And this is how we can filter really easily. Also, if you know the name of the files that you've lost, you can just search for them. So I think that is pretty nice. For example, if I'm going to search tech one, two, three, as you can see, we can easily find our files, but we can also, I think, see them here on the desktop. So we have here tech one, tech two, and tech three. Let's just select these files because these are the files that we've just deleted. And let's see if they are fully recovered. If there are maybe corrupted or something like that. Also, the advanced scan, as you can see, is trying to find more files for us. I'm just going to try to recover these three files. Click on recover. I'm just going to click on save and then choose folder, save, and I'm going to select desktop and then select the folder. And we have here our recovered folder. As you can see, it has been added to the desktop. Let's open it up and see what we have here. We have three files. Let's open up the image. As you can see, the image is recovered fully. It's not corrupted or anything like that. The text document where we had something written in it 
as you can see the text inside wasn't recovered unfortunately and if we're looking at the video as you can see also the video was recovered i think this is in full fps it was 60 frames per second so i think the software did a good job by recovering it so basically you can recover files easily in windows 11 and windows in general if the certain location in the memory of that file where it was before hasn't been rewritten with other files so i think this should be common knowledge because this is the only way you can recover files so as you can see you can easily recover files using ease's data recovery you can check it out from the description below and you can recover up to two gigabytes of deleted lost or corrupted files easily for free and of course if we're returning to the home page don't forget that you can also recover data from sd cards nas linux and also data from crashed pcs so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech page channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was your home tech page until next time have a nice day